Jessica Petway, a cherished beauty influencer known for her impactful presence on YouTube, has tragically passed away at the age of 36. Petway, who bravely shared her battle with stage 3 cervical cancer with her followers, left a profound void just before her sister Rainey's birthday, causing immense grief for her family and the large community of fans who admired her. Her journey into the digital realm began in November 2013 with the launch of her YouTube channel. Over the years, she ascended to prominence as a source of inspiration and style, amassing over 225,000 followers and more than 16 million views across nearly 450 videos. From beauty tutorials to personal vlogs, her content resonated deeply with audiences worldwide. The heartbreaking news of her diagnosis came after a year of being misdiagnosed with fibroids. The discovery of her cancer in February 2023, following a visit to an oncologist, marked a pivotal moment in her life. Despite the shocking mistake, she confronted her condition with bravery and optimism, refusing to let it define her. In a touching Instagram post in July 2023, Petway candidly shared her journey, aiming to inspire those facing similar challenges. She detailed the earliest symptoms, the path to her diagnosis, and the emotional toll it took on herself and her loved ones. Her story underscored the importance of advocating for one's health and seeking second opinions when necessary. Beyond her online persona, Petway was a devoted wife and mother, cherishing her 12-year marriage and two children, 10-year-old Kaylee and 3-year-old Zoe Lee. Her writings often address the struggles and impact of her illness on her family, highlighting the shared challenges they faced. Despite adversity, Petway and her husband remained determined to confront the sickness together, exemplifying resilience and love. Jessica Petway's passing serves as a poignant reminder of life's fragility and the strength found in community and familial support during trying times. Her contributions to the beauty industry, her openness about her battle with cancer, and the inspiration she brought to countless lives will endure as a lasting legacy. Sylvia Tortosa, a revered Spanish actress and television presenter celebrated for her impactful contributions to film, theater, and television, has passed away at the age of 77 in Barcelona after a courageous battle with breast cancer. Diagnosed in 2019, she fought the disease with incredible bravery and tenacity, emerging as a symbol of strength and resilience. Her passing marks the end of an illustrious career spanning six decades, leaving a void in the hearts of all who admired and respected her work. Her journey to fame began at the age of 15 with her theatrical debut in The Wizard of Oz. Driven by her passion for acting, she pursued studies in dramatic art, and by 1966, she achieved a significant breakthrough in film with her performance in The Last Saturday. Her career soared as she worked alongside industry legends like Christopher Lee and appeared in beloved programs such as Hostel Royal and Manzanares and LaGuardia. Her versatility and charm also shone through in television entertainment, where she hosted the popular show Aplaso. Beyond her professional achievements, Tortosa's personal life was marked by deep love and tragedy. Married four times, each relationship contributed to the rich tapestry of her life story. Her ultimate love, producer Carlos Canavas, stood by her side through her health struggles, demonstrating a bond rooted in mutual respect and compassion. Together, they faced the challenges of her illness, showcasing the strength of love in adversity. Tortosa's legacy transcends her performances on stage and screen. 
She was a fighter not only in her work, but also in her personal life, confronting cancer with a zeal that inspired all who crossed her path. As her friends, loved ones, and the media mourn her loss, they also celebrate the enduring impression she left on the world of Spanish entertainment. As we bid farewell to Silvia Tortosa, we remember her not only for the characters she brought to life, but also for her bravery, grace, and unwavering passion for her craft. Her legacy will continue to inspire future generations, a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. Rest in peace, Sylvia Tortosa. Your memory will be cherished forever. Emmett Bergen a celebrated Irish actor renowned for his portrayal of Dick Moran in the iconic RD series, Glenroe, passed away unexpectedly. Born in Dublin, his contributions to the arts extended beyond the pastoral settings of Glenroe, leaving an indelible mark on stage and television. Glenroe premiered in 1983 and quickly became a staple of Irish television, with Bergen's portrayal of Dick Moran endearing him to audiences nationwide. The series, depicting life in a small Irish agricultural town, aired until 2001, showcasing Bergen's enduring popularity and brilliance. Bergen's versatility as an actor was evident in various roles, including his portrayal of Angus Fanning in the 2003 biographical crime drama about journalist Veronica Guerin. His role as Olus in the 1981 fantasy film Excalibur highlighted his ability to immerse himself in complex, imaginative realms, showcasing his range and depth as an actor. His voice also graced the airwaves, particularly in radio advertising for the Irish Times in the 1980s, demonstrating his unique presence beyond visual media. His dedication to the arts was part of a family legacy, as his brother Patrick Bergen also achieved renown as an actor. Emmett Bergen is survived by his wife Sarah and their two children, Gavin and Tara. His sudden passing has left his family, friends, and admirers in sadness, mourning the loss of a key presence in their lives and a beloved figure in Irish entertainment. A service to commemorate Emmett Bergen's life will be held on Tuesday, March 26, at the Victorian Chapel, Mount Jerome Crematorium in Harold's Cross, Dublin. In honoring Emmett Bergen, we salute not only his contributions to film and television, but also the memory of a man who brought warmth, depth, and authenticity to every character he portrayed. He will be deeply missed, but his legacy will endure through the many stories he helped bring to life. Leah Smith, a TikTok influencer and model from Walton Murray side, courageously documented her battle with ing sarcoma before passing away at the young age of 22. Known for her vibrant social media presence, she captured the hearts of over half a million followers by candidly sharing her daily life and the realities of living with a rare form of cancer that predominantly affects children and young adults. Her journey, marked by honesty and resilience, garnered worldwide attention and support, serving as an inspiration to many. Her boyfriend, Andrew Moore, announced her passing on her TikTok profile, expressing gratitude for the outpouring of love and pledging to ensure that Leah's memory and impact would never be forgotten. Leah's struggle with cancer began with back pain, which eventually led to a loss of sensation in her left leg and her diagnosis of ing sarcoma. Despite the challenges, she remained a beacon of hope, documenting her hospital visits and treatment journey, resulting in millions of views and countless letters of encouragement. Her family and friends, especially her brother Liam and best friend Vicky, expressed heartfelt gratitude to the TikTok community for their unwavering support throughout Leah's journey. 
Vicky's poignant words, if love could have saved her, she would have lived forever and a day, encapsulate the profound compassion and admiration felt by all who were touched by Leah's story. Leah's legacy is not only a testament to her strength and courage, but also a reminder of the power of sharing one's journey to inspire and uplift others facing similar challenges. Her candid portrayal of life with cancer, encompassing both struggles and moments of joy, has left an enduring impact on the hearts of her fans and will continue to inspire future generations. Eric Carmen, the iconic singer and songwriter behind timeless hits like All By Myself and Hungry Eyes, passed away peacefully in his sleep over the weekend at the age of 74. The announcement on his official website mourns Carmen's passing as that of a sweet, loving, and talented individual whose eternal legacy will be the profound impact his music had on admirers across generations. No cause of passing was specified. Born in Cleveland, Ohio, Carmen rose to prominence in the 1970s as the charismatic lead vocalist of the Raspberries. The band, famed for its Beatles-like harmonies and pop rock style, enjoyed successes with songs like I Want to Be With You and Go All The Way. Despite initial popularity, internal conflicts led to the band's dissolution in 1975, paving the way for Carmen's successful solo career. His solo work is distinguished by emotionally charged ballads, such as the widely acclaimed all by Myself, famously performed by Celine Dion and Hungry Eyes. A key component of the Dirty Dancing soundtrack that captured the intensity of one of cinema's most beloved romances. He also co-wrote Almost Paradise, the love theme from the film Footloose, sung by Mike Reno and N. Wilson, earning Carmen his only Grammy nomination. Despite initially declining to join the Raspberries for their 1999 reunion, Carmen reunited with the band for a 2004 show in Cleveland, leading to a brief tour in 2005. Their final collective performance occurred in 2007, signaling the end of an era for the band. Carmen's legacy is a rich tapestry of music that stands the test of time and resonates with both old and new audiences. His talent for creating songs that touch the heart and evoke strong emotions made him a beloved figure in the music industry. Fans and the music community grieve his passing while simultaneously celebrating the everlasting mark he left on the world of music. His songs, which spent months on the Billboard Hot 100 chart, will always be treasured by those who found solace, joy, and inspiration in his music. Peter Angelos, the revered owner of the Baltimore Orioles and a prominent figure in both legal and sports realms, has passed away at the age of 94. His departure signifies the conclusion of an era for the Orioles, a team he acquired in 1993 and guided through decades of baseball with an unwavering love of the game and a profound connection to Baltimore. His benevolence extended far beyond the confines of the diamond, showcasing his significant impact as a trial lawyer, philanthropist, and political donor. Born on July 4, 1929, in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, to Greek immigrant parents, Angelus embarked on a distinctive career trajectory that propelled him from Baltimore's neighborhoods to the pinnacle of professional achievement. Graduating from the University of Baltimore School of Law, he established himself as a tenacious advocate, representing workers and confronting major corporations in landmark cases, including a monumental ASB asbestos poisoning lawsuit that yielded a remarkable settlement. Angela's leadership of the Orioles was marked by a steadfast commitment to nurturing talent and maintaining the team's competitiveness. Notably, during his tenure, 
He made the notable decision not to field substitute players amidst the 1994-1995 MLB strike, earning admiration from fans and players alike. Despite occasional criticism of the team's performance, his genuine passion for the game and unwavering devotion to the Orioles remained unshakable throughout. In a recent landmark deal, Angelus finalized the sale of the franchise to a consortium led by David Rubenstein, underscoring his lifelong dedication to the team's prosperity. His legacy is further defined by his substantial philanthropic endeavors, including generous contributions to the University of Baltimore and various community institutions. A staunch supporter of the Greek Orthodox Cathedral of the Annunciation in Baltimore and a significant contributor to Democratic Party candidates, Angelus left an enduring impact that transcended the realm of athletics. Peter Angelus is survived by his wife, Georgia Curis, and their two children, John and Louis. His legacy of community passion, humanitarianism, and unwavering support for the Orioles will be cherished and remembered fondly, leaving an indelible mark on Baltimore and the Orioles franchise.